Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to what could be the last episode of Medieval? I don't know. This looks like what. <laughs> like, this looks like it, it, it could not be anything but that. Um, but of course, we'll have to see. Because this could end up potentially being a long episode, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm Snack Attack 8. Did I say that already? <laughs> oh man, we're storming it with the ghost ship! This is just like Final Fantasy IX. Here we go, just pull her right up. Daniel's always been a very good parallel parker. Here we are. Oh, ominous door. <laughs> ominous door! The entrance hall. Oh, this is the area that we saw in the cutscene in the beginning. And it's guarded by you guys, you goblin mooks? Goblin mooks and impy spooks? Those mischievous imps have been at Xerox's spell books again. They're shielded by magic, the naughty creatures. Maybe I couldn't defeat them if I didn't have the magic sword. Sir Daniel Fortescue, standing bold as you like in the foyer of Xerox's castle. Who'd have thought it? Not us, that's for sure. <laughs> We's afraid the master of the house is out trying to plunge the land into eternal night. But come as you on, do. Make yourself a all right, well, I'll make some coffee or something. Wait for him to get back. All I gotta do is kick his ass, right? There's not a time limit on that. All right, so... There's the goblin guys. Let's get rid of them, just to fill the chalice up some. We can't get uh, too excited, we still have uh, stuff to do. There is a chalice in this level, as the meter is telling me. Let's see. This is, yeah, this is that little planet area from the uh, intro cutscene. For sure it is. It's you! Uh, maybe you can't uh, fill Chalice in this level unless you have the magic sword. Because those little goblin guys are going down easy. Easy as can be. If that's all that's here, I'm going to be, uh, well, maybe a little relieved, but maybe also a little disappointed. This looks like it might be the way to go, so let's go back the other way. I know we've heard this music before. Is this the music from the Sleeping Village? I like this track. This is a good one. Right. Oh, now here's even further down. Those, is it like a Viking ship? Oh, this is where um, Magic Sword stolen. What? Uh, come back! Oh my god. No! Alright, gimme! Okay, whew! Uh, okay! I guess that can happen. Um, here's the- Man, yeah, this- now this- maybe this seems like the way to go. Uh... Hell, this is a- uh, Xerox spell book so it doesn't get confused. Let's see, raising the dead? That takes up a decent amount of pages. Putting a town to sleep. Summoning demons only uh, 30 pages long, eh? And card tricks at the end, the most important. The secret diary of Xerox. Is he gonna talk about all the boys that he has a crush on? 100 years I've spent in exile, using my anger to keep me warm, feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my <laughs> angst. But soon they will pay, all of them, including Fortescue. He thwarts my first plan to conquer Galomir and then posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval on his bony ass. I never liked him anyway. Always hanging around the court, interfering, shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Where are you going with that dead cat, Zerok? Where did you find that brain, Zerok? Wretched busybody. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Come on, Dan, why are you antagonizing the guy? He's just trying to be a dark sorcerer. This, well, maybe I can go through here. Didn't Zerok go through here at one point? There's got to be one of those little troll guys still around somewhere, or imps, whatever they're called, that I can take out. And I'll come back and get the chalice. I feel like we're like close. I feel like we're on the way to the final encounter. Did I get hit even at all? No. Down here maybe? Oh, there's some stuff down here. There's a gargoyle shop. What about down this way? Dragon Lair? There you are. Alright. Alright, and that's the way out, I guess. 
Um, what? This must be just like a precursor level or something, like a beginning before the final encounter or something like that. It is cool though that we get to see all this stuff. It's also cool that I just get to clip through the stairs like that. All right, off we go! Give me that, the Hall of Heroes awaits. Is this gonna be our last trip to the hall? I wanna see that statue of me. Nothing would make me happier than becoming a true hero and getting a statue out of it. The sign of a real, of a real true man. Get a statue made, life goals. All right. But I guess our more important life goal is the Dark Wizard. Let's go through. Yeah. Man, uh, I'm getting those end of the game tingles. What if there was like a whole other map? It could be, could be possible. Just doesn't seem like it. You got a wolf call? This guy's not saying anything to me, so. There's still chalices to collect. Maybe there are more levels. I don't know. <laughs> Beats me. It's not like it's Final Fantasy or something where you can tell like when the end of the game is gonna happen. Like you just know. Who's got anything? You do. You again! Oh no, no, this is that other guy. This is the for, the last guy hey, we met. Danny man, how was that so bearing up? I told you it was magic, right? <laughs> I've got so much here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy your chances, like? I wonder if anyone told me what accent this guy does have. Life bottle! Excellent! I wonder if that's all the life bottles in the game. What is it? Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight life bottles? Seems like it fills our little bar up pretty well. All right, but I just wanna see, I wanna see what comes next. <laughs> Draw the sword one last time, Daniel. Is this our final encounter? I will save my progress. It would make sense, round the chalices out at a nice uh, hole 20. All right. Let's see, the time device, okay. That sounds a little different. I guess we'll just, just watch and watch and see. Whoa, this is like Final Fantasy IX. What the heck? Damn. Daniel has had a very folly kind of day. Good thing he can't bruise. Whoa. The time device. I don't know. Maybe there is more. We'll have to see. Let's like open this ornate weird butterfly door thing. Here's Xerox guard guys. You guys should, oh here's a, just a dragon quest enemy. What is happening in this realm? Uh, tell me what I need to hear gargoyle guy. Using a dark magic called Science. <laughs> Zarok has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. Whoa. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time clock. Why do I have to... What does this have to do with, like, my quest up to this point? It's like a brain or something I can squish on? Can I hit these little time flying guys? This is so weird. This is Wally Weird Bears. Alright. Uh, we're filling chalice though. That's something we're sure doing, so there must be a chalice in this level. Listen to this music. Oh, this is cool. I feel like this could maybe be like, this could be a penultimate level. Maybe there's like a final battle with Xerox after this. I could see that. So these butterfly door things, I guess we need to hit a switch to open. This is probably gonna hurt me if I step on it. Let's see. Whoa. Oof, ow, stop! <laughs> I've always thought like clocks and like being inside a clock is such a cool um, uh, environment for like a game or like a cool set piece. Takes me right back to Mario 64. 
right now even with our full uh, or I see I keep I don't know I feel like I'm probably jumping the gun now that I'm saying like we're close to the end we're like full on life bottles but even with the uh, higher number of life bottles we have we still need to be very careful here of course there's a time rune that would make sense that is oh, Jesus oh, no I just need to stop doing, trying to run and dash at the same time. I think it's better, but I feel like I can, I'm definitely able to make, yeah, I'm definitely able to make that without it. Let's see. Is there a, somewhere to put that though over here? Do I have to do something like dealing with time to do that? I didn't see anywhere to put a time rune. There's like a... something up there. Let me take a look at... let me try to figure this out. A clock comes down... <laughs> it stops on... Jeez, I can't even tell what the big hand or the small hand is in that situation. But it stops on the 12 and the 3. So maybe I need to, like, are you guys, can I chase you guys or something? Are you like, in, can I interact with these things in some way? Maybe I need to listen to this guy again. Listen to this music! It is so clockworky. Using a dark magic called science, Zarok has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time. Clock. Okay, so I feel like that's got something to do with this. The flying timepieces are definitely these things. One of them actually has moved over. Let's see, there. And their hands are different than this clock here. So maybe I can interact with this somehow. Can I like uh, throw stuff at it? Hmm. What else would I be able to do? I feel like that's got to be it. Like I can, I can change the hand on this somehow. Maybe there's somewhere else I can do that. Because these guys, what are they showing? They're showing the 12 and the 7 or something? 7 o'clock? I don't know. I don't know if it... Again, I can't tell which hand's big and which isn't. Um, hourglasses. There's not anything out over here. There's clocks out there. Can I, like, stop those? I just don't like platforming on these little ways. Oh, oh, Dan. Don't do that to me, Daniel. Doesn't look like it, unless I can, like, hammer him or something. No, this is definitely just an obstacle. Damn. There's something up there. Is there, like, a way I can ride those gears down there or something? It doesn't look like it, is the thing really does not. Eh. At least I didn't fall. We can say that much. At least I didn't fall. Unless there's something like back this other way that I just didn't, I didn't, couldn't make any sense of before. No? Alright, that's gotta do something with this clock over here. Where'd the rest of you guys go? Can you like flutter this way or something? Can I corral you? He's flying pretty far out there. If I maybe I can just get them over to this clock here. Just drop this one down. Can I move you as I did the chickens? They're getting pretty far down this way. It definitely seems like I'm able to move them in some way. Let me try it. <laughs> Sorry if this is not the most interesting video. I just I'm just trying to figure this out. Come on, guys. Go the other way. Are you following me? 
Can I just move and you'll come with me? Oh, maybe that's it. Come on, then. Oh, it looked like that one went off somewhere. Is he over there now? I think he is. Can I just lead you guys over then? This seems like it's just not working how it's supposed to. Why did that guy fly up? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused by this. This makes no sense. Why is my sh did my shield break? Where's my cold shield? All right. Um. Well, one of the clocks definitely did fall over here. Look, it's over there now. Unless it just, like, weirdly did that. There's gotta be some way I can change the hands. Hmm. I don't have, like... I can't use the time rune, maybe? No. Dragon? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I might have to off screen. I like, I don't know, guys. I guess we'll off screen till I figure it out. Okay, I have figured it out. Um, it was actually a lot simpler than I was thinking. So these weird bouncy brain things, I guess it doesn't look like I can, I'm jumping that much higher, but I guess standing on this, I can actually jump up onto the big clock up here. Um, now I guess I don't not, I guess I'm still not 100% sure on, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, I have the time rune, can I, this is weird, okay, um, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on what I need to do, but I think I probably just need to move the hands on here to match this one, and then I can probably get through, so that's the silver one is at the 12, and that one's at the 3, okay, I can do this. So uh, I guess we gotta. Okay, makes sense. Silver hand. I see now. I see your game time device. There we go. Now I bet. Yes. Cool. All right. The door opened. Um. Now with the whatever this is, I don't know. Can we like? Oh, cool health. Can we? Is this gonna hurt us if I try to run in it? Yes. Can I use my dragon armor? Let's see. No, I can't. I guess I probably need to turn that off or something. I can re-equip my shield. Scroll all the way back over. I guess I could always just scroll, like, one to the side and equip the shield. I don't know. Whatever. Now these little time bug things are just flying all over, too. I don't know what their purpose is. I feel like they must have something to do of importance here, though. But I think what um what our buddy was talking about was the master clock uh up here when he mentioned like changing the time. Now what I have to wonder then is does this door up here have a time thing on it? Yes, it does. Okay. And that's the little hand on 2, the big hand is on Come back. I didn't get to look at that clearly enough. I think it was on 10. Yeah. 10 and 2. Like driving. Nobody has their hands on 10 and 2. Question of the day, if you have your hands on 10 and 2 when you're driving, uh, do you do that? <laughs> That's my question. I don't. I always keep them near the bottom. I think ever like when you drive with hands at, at that position, you just look like an old person. I don't know. It's never felt comfortable to me. I feel like I can do much more in a different, with my hands a different way. <laughs> All right. Eh. All right. So whoa! Run, 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 run! Whoa! The infernal device. Oof! 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 Ouch! We just need to. We just need to go. 
That's gonna hurt us more than anything. One that's gonna do us any good. These weird bouncing hand things. Whoa, this is a crazy world. All right, get out of here. You guys feel chalice, right? Yes. We need to kill all of the uh, all of the RPG en enemies. Did I just get a rune? Is that what I what I just picked up? All right, and this. Now let's um. Whoa. Oof. Is there? All right, there's a way to go over there too. Let's do that. Er. He's hand like it's it's not even it's just impossible to see the hands on that big rotating clock thing. I'm gonna have to use my throwing weapons to get rid of you guys. I think there was another one. Is there another one over there? But there was. My thing targeted it for targeted something for a second. Oh. All right. Onward we go! Man, uh, now, after we got that little puzzle, now I'm like, my brain is still in thinky mode. So I feel like I'm just talking less. There's the chalice. What are you? Oh my god. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, did that just... Okay. I changed the lasers. Can't we just walk up to the... Oh, the, oh, the chalice isn't like a... Like a... Device or something. Alright. Can't go that way unless... I can turn the lasers off and go down there. Let's see if my uh, if I can target that. I can't. Great. All right. Eh. Oh man. All right. Um. What do we do here? Do we have time to get down there? I think we actually do. Why does it seem like it was so much faster before? Uh, I'm t I'm tempting fate here. Um, maybe I can shoot at it. Let me like. Crossbow. Try that. Yeah, that seems to be bouncing off. Spear. Spear just flies off into the sky. Um, I feel like that's gotta be how we get that rune, though. I guess this is probably the best way to do it. Alright, ready? Make, making the run. Whoops. No, that's not it. I feel like I might also just be doing this the snack way, and there's some easier way to, to make this happen. There we go. Go! Oh no, Dan! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's really no other way to hit that thing? Why does it seem like I have plenty of time that way? Do I just... What? It's, it's ending before, like... It's ending before I have time to get it. What the hell? Oh. oh this is just, what does this just lead to treasure? Is there something over here that I need to be paying attention to? Um. This is like frustrating me now. Hold on. There should be plenty of time to get to that. But it keeps, it looks like, it just keeps looking like it ends right before the time even ends. Maybe the shock wave from the hammer can hit it? Oh, that's like, for some reason this is not working on any of this. Maybe I'm just coming about this the wrong way. What would be the point of having to come over here or something? Can I break this? I thought these lasers were creating like a barrier thing here. 
But now it doesn't look so much like that's what's going on, because it's still there, even when I turn them off. Do these ones come back on if I get close to the chalice? I feel like I might just not be doing something right. Do I have another rune? I have a chaos rune. I'm trying to find out where to put that. Let's see. This may just not be the way to go yet. Because there are other ways to go through here, aren't right there? Like... Well, not really, though. It can't just, like, not work. That wouldn't make sense. Nobody would like this game if that was the case. Here we go. Here's here's the door. Alright. This has got to have something to do with it. Except that looks like the way out. Metal Keep House is the magical chariot that Zara calls his train. The path it runs along leads eventually to Xerox's lair. Your route's blocked by gates controlled at various way stations. Travel these on the train and open the gates and head for the lair. I feel like we're almost in, like, chalice range. But we're not yet. Like, like we, like we need to get the chalice before we go through there. But I don't know! Let's try, like, let's see what's in this door. It's not, okay. Alright, we need a moon rune, which I don't have. We need, there's the, where the earth rune goes. So maybe I can, whoops. <laughs> maybe I can do this now. That, like, I've seen this happen. Here's the train. Huh. And there's a lot in this lev. We might need to actually end the episode and we'll, like, come back in the next one. Let me, but just to satisfy my curiosity, let me come over this way. This was the way, right? Yeah. And see if I can do this now. Why? Why is it not working? I don't know. Unless I can hit it like a multiple times. Or I have to like go this way. Where am I? Oh my god. What if we just left the episode here? <laughs> we try that. Try taking the weird triangle thing over. Well, oh my god. <laughs> I just feel so defeated by these hard puzzles. This isn't like you, Medieval. I don't know. Alright, I think we're gonna end the episode here. Maybe in the next one we'll open up with, like, me trying to figure this out. I don't know. Not the last one, though, but we're getting close. Till next time, guys. I've been Snackadag8. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next part. Later.